Wildlife managers in the Jackson Pinedale regions recently conducted aerial surveys to classify the Wyoming Range and Sublette mule deer herds. The data is especially of interest following the severe winter of 2022-23 that caused above average mortality and near eradication of that year's fawn numbers. Data collected here and from ongoing research provides insight into population trends and assists managers with setting hunt seasons. Data from last December showed mule deer entering the winter in very good body condition. The average body fat percentage of adult females was at 12.9 percent, a decrease from an average of 15.8 percent a year ago. But captured fawns on the Wyoming range from last summer had an average birth mass of 7.7 pounds. That's the largest since 2016 and nearly a pound larger than average birth mass across all previous years. Drought and extreme winters affect quantity and quality of forage for mule deer, affecting the body condition of deer heading into winter. The relatively mild and snow-free winter conditions over the last two years have meant high overwinter survival. Areas of the Wyoming range that get precipitation of 30 inches or more a year will often produce a diversity of plants to grow, enabling does to produce and care for viable and healthy fawns before they get on winter ranges. A December flight survey of the Wyoming range herd counted 4,902 mule deer and a considerable increase in fawn ratios at 83 fawns for every 100 does. That's up from 34 fawns for every 100 does in 2023. The overall buck ratio was up with 28 bucks for every 100 does, approaching that 30 to 45 buck to doe ratio objective. Yearling buck ratios increased to 9 for every 100 does, while adult buck ratios remained unchanged at 19 bucks for every 100 does. Over in the sublette deer herd, 7,645 mule deer were counted from the air. Here, too, a notable increase in the fawn ratio, 76 fawns for every 100 does, the highest since 2006. The overall buck to doe ratio stayed stable at 34 for every 100 does. Yearling bucks increased to 10 bucks for every 100 does, whereas the ratio of adult bucks decreased to 23 bucks for every 100 does. History shows that both herds can demonstrate resilience, quickly recovering from periods of high winter mortality like in the mid-2000s and from 2011-16 and 2017-22. Mild and open winter conditions then led to high overwinter survival rates for mule deer and rapid recovery of the populations. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.